Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we are going to be multiplying two two-digit numbers. All right, let's get started. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today on the show, we are going to be multiplying a two-digit number by another two-digit number. But before that, I kind of want to lay a little bit of a foundation here. So let's take a look at a number like this. Three times two. And I know what you're saying. You're like, hey, I already know that. But I just want to kind of uh, lay a foundation of understanding of what this is. I know that you know that it is six. But I want to remind you that it is... Uh, when we say three times two, that is two groups of three, all right? Or you can say two times three. You can kind of switch it around. So then that would be three groups of two. Two plus two plus two, all right? So just kind of, I always want to make sure that when you are doing addition, subtraction, multiplication, calculus that we have an understanding of what we are trying to do and multiplication is just an easy way of adding a bunch of the same number over and over together all right so all right let's get started on a bigger number okay um, let's do 23 times 3 Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I always multiply the ones. So this would be three times three is nine. Very good. All right. Three times two is six. All right. And it's really important that you know your multiplication facts. If you don't, please, 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 you need to study them. You need to know from zero to 12 by heart, by memory. All right, so please make sure that you do that. Take a couple days on each number and study it. Boom, all right, hey, we got another big number here, 44 times three. All right, what do we do first? We multiply the ones. Ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Four times three, 12. Whoa, stop right there. Just like when we were you know, adding double digit numbers and we had to you know, kind of regroup, this is what we need to do. We need to take that one, boom, put it up in the 10 spot right here, okay? Now we can multiply three times four, all right? So three times four is 12 plus the one up there, okay? So three times four is 12 plus the one would be 13. You guys are moving and grooving. Let's do another one, yeah! Whoa, hey, this is what you've been waiting for, a double-digit number times another double-digit number. Ready to do it? Yeah, I know you can do it, yeah. First of all, what do we do? Multiply the ones. Just ignore that three right there. Just ignore it. Don't even get worried about it, all right? Let's just do what we were doing before, okay? Three times four is 12, okay? Carry the one. Three times four is 12 plus the one right up here, plus that one. That would be 13. Super important that you need to line up your numbers. Don't get sloppy with your numbers, okay? Make sure you're lining them up so that you can see what's going on, your teacher can see what's going on, and it's better organization skills. All right, now let's multiply the tens. We are going to ignore that number here, and we're going to take this number. This number right there is 3, but it's actually 30, all right? It's actually 30, and what we usually do is we will put a 0 down here because 3 times 4 is 12, but 30 times 4 is 120. So. When we are dealing with this number here in the tens, we always just put a zero right here for a placeholder, all right? So that way you don't have to say 30 times 4 is 120. No, just put the zero right here and go 3 times 4, which is 12, okay? So I put the 2 here and I put the 1 up here. Sometimes what I like to do is if I've already used these numbers right here, I just kind of put a line through there and then I put my new um, 
numbers up here. So 3 times 4 was 12. I carry the 1. Now I do it again. 3 times 4 is 12 plus the 1. Plus the 1. That is 13. So I put the 13 right here. Put a line under here. Boom. We got addition. We add these two numbers together. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, there's rules in addition to you add the ones, add the tens, add the hundreds, and so on. Let's do it. Yeah. 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. Oh, you guys are doing good. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. A little Spanish for you. 4. And drop that one down. Boom. Right here. We have 44 times 33 equals 1,452. Ready to do another one? Yeah. Boom. Hey, you're saying, hey, I know how to do this number. Yes, but if you ever get yourself into trouble, go back to the beginning. All right. So we know that 12 times 12 is 144. Let's see how we got to it. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. Remember, we put a zero here for a placeholder because that is like 10. All right. One times two is two. One times one is one. Okay. Now we're going to add these numbers. Bring that four down. Drop it down. Two plus two. Boom. One, two, three, four. Bring that one down. 12 times 12 is 144. So if you ever get yourself in a little bit of trouble, it's like, oh, I forgot how to do multiplication. Go back to 12, all right? Work it out. All right, ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I gave you a tough one, but I know you can do it. Why don't you go ahead and do this on a piece of paper, hit pause, and when you're ready to go, hit play. All right, we are ready to take a look at this problem. First of all, what do you do? Multiply the ones. 6 times 4 is 24. All right. Carry that 2. Put it over here. 6 times 5. Remember your 5s? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. 30 plus the 2. 32. All right. 32. Make sure you're writing those numbers correctly. All right. Now we've multiplied the tens. Remember, this is like a 30. We just put a placeholder right here. 3 times 4 is 12. All right. Put the 2 here. Put the 1 on top of there. Put a little line through that one so you don't get that mixed up. 3 times 5 is 5, 10, 15. All right. 15 plus the 1 is 16. All right. So you put the 16 right here. Put a line underneath here. The plus symbol. Ready to go? Let's do it. Add the ones. Four. Add the tens. Four. Add the hundreds. Six plus three is nine. Drop the one. Right here. Oh, you guys are becoming math ninja pros. Are you ready to do one more? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. All right. First of all, multiply the ones. Zero times six is, whoa, all right, don't get worried. It's just a zero. Anything times zero is zero. What is four times zero? Zero. What is six times zero? Zero. What is mazillion, dazillion, bazillion, resilion times zero? Zero. Okay. Six times zero? Zero. Three times zero? Zero. Don't worry about it. All right. Now, remember, this is like 40. All right. You got to put that placeholder here. Right here. Put that placeholder. Four times six is 24. Put the four here. Put the two on top. Four times three, 12. Don't forget to add that two. 12, 13, 14. Oop, I almost put a multiplication sign there. Don't do that. Addition sign. All right. Let's add it up. 0 plus 0, 0. 4 plus 0, 4. Drop it down. Drop it down. Oh, 36 times 40 equals 1,440. Whoa, you guys are math ninja pros. Hey, thanks a lot for watching my video today. 
Make sure you check out the other channels that I have on here. Got a lot of cool, fun videos. And please hit subscribe, please. My mom subscribed the other day and I was so happy. I need some more subscriptions out there. Hit it right, I don't know where the book, is it right, it might, wherever it is. Hit subscribe and like always, have a fun day, adios.